my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I've got this very interesting deck out. It's more of an oracle deck than a tarot deck. And I just did that reading on Princess Anne. And I want to find out what was going on. It sounded like um, there was a bit of a disagreement, right? We're all allowed to disagree. And it sounds like Princess Anne was outside getting fresh air, clear, clearing, clearing, ooh, no contact and the future. No contact in the future. And she's a fire sign. Um, life purpose. And I it, it read that there was some kind of disagreement. Looks like a little bit of alcohol was involved. Went outside to clear her head. And uh, looks like to me, what the cards were showing me is she actually tripped and fell and hurt herself. And the story is kind of a spin doctor story and said it, it was a horse incident. I'm, many people have asked me to read on it. So I'm just going to do this supplement here. And let's ask these cards, these oracle cards, what was the truth of that night? What was the truth of that night? And what were they arguing about that she needed to uh get out and clear her head what is the truth of that night and what were they arguing about that she had to go out and clear her head by herself stand your ground you know I said it might have been something about how often she is working and how much she is doing I've been reading that we're going to get a surprise retirement announcement that uh, Tim has been really pushing to for her to pull back. And here she is standing her ground. Karma, karma. Oh, competition. And look at that is riding a horse. Ooh, abandonment, abandonment and loneliness. And isn't this interesting? Because we had five of pentacles and I said she went outside. She went outside. So what's the underlying here? Past life. Past life. And part of the argument was about um, working with her mother or not with her mother, like her mother did right up until the very last minute. And we've got some, um, it's this competition here. This is interesting because here is a horse. And, you know, during trooping, she had to control that horse. And look at this loneliness and stand your ground, loneliness, abandonment, and karma. Now, this is karma and balancing the scales. I'm wondering if it's the type of karma she's doing so much work, the universe has come out and made her stop. And made her stop. And this is past life. Is she's maybe trying to invoke her mother's energy by being her mother, by being hardworking like her mother, by not letting her mother down, by working until the very last moment. And look at these cards that she's feeling very, very alone in this. And she has been carrying such a big burden. Um, and, and I mean, you look at how many up till now, how many she has attended Versus everyone else. Now, of course, Charles is excused. Um, uh, uh, Catherine is excused. William is excused. Um, you know, but but I mean, it's it's really needed to be balanced out. And the universe will do that to you. If you don't look after, let's say you hate your job, absolutely hate your job, but you go to it, you don't get a resume ready, you don't do anything, but you're just, you know, you're telling the universe every day how much you hate your job. Well, then you know what happens to the universe? The universe will go, oh, you don't like that job. Well, let's have a layoff there. That's that camp. That company is going to go bankrupt there. Now you, now you should be happy. You don't have that job anymore. <laughs> or you get fired or something. So this to me, karma is balancing the scales. I think she was just working and working and working and made it some type of competition in somehow um, working and working and working and maybe not getting the, uh, um, I'm not that I think that she needs, a, you know, praise all the time. She may be feeling like so much has just really been abandonment and loneliness. Just so much has been put on her shoulders. Um, 
and that there was something in the universe that balanced it out. That balanced it out. Uh, this past life, I think, is is her um, wanting to live in the past with her mother. Oh, look at the next card. Rest. I told you. I told you. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. This competition could be actually be with her and her husband. That, um, you know, they're, I, I've read that they're arguing that he wants her to really pull back and let Semi retire, enjoy what we have left. Um, patience. She's going to need patience to recover from this. Any, any head injury takes, can take months soon. And in the last reading, I read that we are going to hear news soon. I think we're going to hear news soon that um, I think that we're going to see her really pull back. I think she may have gotten the message. And um, I think they kind of kiss and made up here. Like she's like, oh, I can't believe I did something so stupid and uh, have patience to recover. And I think we're going to hear news soon about um, how, when she can return. And I think it's going to be much pulled, like very reduced, very reduced. Witchcraft and lust. Uh, she really wants to come back. She she really wants to. Uh, I can't see her being excited then making a fuss about it. With this witchcraft, I think she might really try um, more natural, more natural ways uh, to recover. Uh, she might. Uh, she might be more into you know what's the more natural ways to recover, and I think it's because she might want to push it along faster. I honestly do. I honestly do. I think she can't sit still. She can't. And um, I think she might pull in something to try and make it go a lot faster. But we're going to hear some news very soon. All right. So this was just a supplement uh, to the reading. Uh, if you didn't see the first reading, then I please go back and see that. Thank you so much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>